Indeed we have, Andrea, and we're looking forward to this one. It's Indonesia versus Chinese Taipei again. There is the, the Indonesian pair. But let me just... Uh, just continue off from where Andrew, uh, or Players continue ready, on please. from where Andrew left off there, because I have a little bit of a history with him. I was uh, his teacher in Singapore, the United World College, many, many moons ago. We're talking about uh, the late 70s, and um, he was such an enthusiastic player. He was a, a marvelous, marvelous uh, example of guys who had passion for for sport and uh, badminton in particular was one of the things that uh, he was a boarder there and he would always every spare minute he was on court trying to be as good as he could be and his this passion is i mean for me to see him now supporting the game uh, on a worldwide basis and particularly coming to New Zealand he's also in Australia and in Canada Canada it's absolutely brilliant so i'm very very pleased about that and uh, well, let's get on to now the final match of our uh, tournament here and it's the men's doubles up as i said it's kerni wan and ling ali from indonesia against chen hong ling and lin yu yang we just Ladies seen the and gentlemen, there of mr wright the new zealand umpire. Right, he's accompanied by mr richard bramley from new zealand as the service judge Langland, and chinese taipei we have chen and lin the second time on we've seen Chen, Ling Ali. Chen Hong Ling, who's Chen already the champion in the mixed Indonesia. doubles. Let's see whether he Hong can, Ling with Lin Yu Yang, pull off a double. Love we will see play. in just a couple of minutes. What is guaranteed is great action. Fireworks. Play play. Service over. The Indonesians One are a real nine. bundle of fun, let me tell you. They love their game. Over. Right, I'm rejoined again One, by Craig four. Cooper, the Olympian from New Zealand, who is now going to tell us a little bit about what he thinks of this one. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. I haven't seen a lot of these Indonesian guys Service before, over. but Indonesia have got an amazing Two, ability to One. pull uh, doubles players off a conveyor belt, and um, <laughs> and these guys look to be a pretty talented pair. Um, We've seen a bit more of the Chinese Taipei pair, and Chen in particular. Yet another Chen from Taipei, um, who we saw in the mixed doubles, is, is a class class act. And I think this game could go either way. And, and what one thing for sure you can see already this extra pace and, and explosiveness of the, of the guys out there is, is going to be good to watch. Already, we're at two three. Vicious backhand there. No good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Too good this time from Lin Yu Young. Four. At the net at 4 3. three. <laughs> Kenny one's receiving. Stuff. What a smash there. Service over. And with that e four, extra four. power that the guys get from the back in uh, men's doubles, it just highlights the importance of trying to force your opponents to be the first one to lift it up. Mm. Five. Well, they're four. taking it in turns here at smashing that shuttle. Linga Lee comes up with a cross court. Big hit for 5 4. There you go. Exciting stuff, a, a, a long serve that uh, Six, rings the changes. Five. The tactics are good here, aren't they, Greg? Yeah, and some pretty high, high jumping going on here from the back. Oh! Some spring in those legs. Five. Of course, we mentioned earlier the uh, Estora Sanayan in Jakarta, where uh, it's really sort of the home of the sport in terms of celebration. Oh! There's no doubt at all. Everybody has a festive atmosphere when Six, they come four. to watch badminton. They, they cheer. I don't know whether you remember it, but they cheer those smashes. Correction and it's a sort of, uh, it's a real ecstasy. In. It's an exuberance that is just Seven, amazing. Six. They give it the big cheer and they sort of, ooh, and then, oh, but they go down again. It's really quite stunning to, 
listen to and experience. Yeah. You've really got to experience it to, to Eight, appreciate just how, how electric it is. And, and every time there's a, a lift goes up to their home team and yep. they're jumping up to smash it, you hear the whole crowd in unison screaming and as they make contact with the shuttle. And it's certainly um, difficult, deafening and, and pretty difficult for the opponents to try and uh, counter. Seven, it's over. So pretty modest Seven, sound here for the eight. Indonesians by comparison, but they're certainly not modest in their performance. It's at seven eight at the moment. It's a great get, great game, good matchup. Linga Lee finds the air nine, there, misses the seven. shuttle. It's nine seven. Youngsters in their exuberant celebration youth, aren't they? They're absolutely loving it. Well, watching these, you realise how old you are, I suppose, don't you? Ten. <laughs> how old are you? Twenty-seven. Well, there you go. That's ancient, isn't it? Indonesia, of course, have the uh, the number one ranking team in the world. Ah! Marcus Kido and Hendra Sekiwan. Eleven, nine, uh, Current Olympic champions. Yeah, and they've also got Lolo, uh, Hadianto and uh, Yulianto in 12 as well. So they've got some real talent, top to bottom. They've had their moments, of course, when they haven't been quite uh, as in the forefront as they'd like, but 11-9 at the moment in favour of the Chinese Taipei squad. But, uh, I've just been looking there, what I was reading out there was to try and find them, but uh, Kurniawan, I've got a Kurniawan in at 22 in the rankings at the moment, but that's not with uh, his partner today. So I think this is a bit experimental. Linga Li is, uh, is a new partner, I think, for... 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Yeah, I think right that's now. right. And the Indonesians just have so many good men's doubles players. It's the one event where they've 11, just seemed 9. to be dominant uh, for, for a long, long time. Play. And China now, um, so the, the powerhouse so with regards to singles, but still a men's doubles. So so Indonesia so seem to be able to uh, produce the good. Indonesia fight back with one for 10-11. Hey. Oh. And now at 11 all. This is good. 11. over the top. 12, 11. Shen Hung Ling will be really disappointed there. Do you think he'd be affected by the fact that he's already played a match? Yeah, I mean, he's lucky that it was the, the first and last game, so he's had, he's had enough time to rest. It's more about uh, the impact it may have mentally on, on getting yourself um, ready again and, and getting him in the right frame of mind for another match. But um, He's, he's, he's been playing doubles and mixed doubles for a, for a while now, and he'll, he'll be used to this, and I'm sure, I'm sure that won't be an excuse. Indonesia, we're 11-9 down, they're 13-11 up. They're now 14-11 up. This is a big, big, 14, big effort 11. by the Indonesians. It's five in a row. See Indonesia have just taken control of the net uh, in this first set. They've been, you can see he's been varying his serve quite well from the serve directly to the tee, which is the most common, uh, out to the wide serve. And then he's really hunting that third one. You can see there again, he's, he's causing them to lift it nearly every time. Oh, great net play. That is so exciting. Do you know... I love watching Indonesians because they just exude love of the game, don't they? Yeah, and they're so relaxed. They always seem to have the most relaxed racket work and, and therefore great skill in uh, the fantastic shots in that really. 
It's long, it's 17. Wow, that's amazing, that's eight in a row. 11. Yeah, and, the, and the Taipei there really need to try and win this net back here, but can put more pressure on the serve because at the moment they're just getting beaten at the net. Defence, defence, ultimately was to no avail, but they still got the luxury of five points difference. It's out. That was well left, you know. Not easy to do. Lin Yu Yang did really well to avoid touching that. 13-17. Thirteen. Oh, dear. Isn't that strange? Yeah. That is a natural reaction. You, you always look up to blame the light. Don't you? <laughs> yeah. Do you do that, Craig? Oh, no. because, of, because it was the light. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the light's great here. They're brilliant. You don't have to. No, oh, they are dear. Good. The crazy yeah. thing is, there were no lights right above his head where he looked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that was an error. 14-18. It's 15-18. Great score by the way. He just skimmed the net and landed just on the line, I think. You don't normally expect it to go in when it uh, touches the net, but that was great. Sixteen eighteen. Sixteen. You can see the 18. type eight there. It's a bit earlier on the net now, and you can see already it's had a dramatic effect. <laughs> and that's a, a really important strike there. Good early push 19, for 19-16. I was getting the impression there that both of them, there might have been a Jakarta and a uh, and a Taiwan. <laughs> flight tonight because they're in such a rush. <laughs> it's 17-19. It's all really big stuff. Ten minutes of this match already 17, complete. And the, Chi the Chinese Taipei coach inscrutable at the moment. He won't be too pleased with what he's seeing. 17-19. But this and the let called there by Mr. Wright as the hand is raised. Oh, it's just wide. No, it's called it wide. It's 18 19. 18. This 19. is now nervously close. And again, they want to just hold up the pace just a little bit. Gamesmanship is alive and well here in KLRC. Yeah, just Open. It, sorry, <laughs> sorry, just trying to make... The receivers trying to make the server just have that extra bit of time to think about the serve before they do it. Just puts a little bit more pressure on them. You can see here, he's just delaying it. He wants the sweat wiped up. Mr. Wright is saying, no way, get on with it. I think you'd say, to no avail. And an excellent serve by Chen Ott into the right shoulder, which is a tricky spot to return from. Holt, receiver. Oh, good performance. Yeah, you don't upset the umpire and get away with it, do you? Hey, how about that? Did he move before it was struck? What was the, now, what was the fault? Let's hear. Yeah, it's a... It's a Let's see if we can hear the it's, it's a fault for him moving his feet before the uh, serve can serve. Yeah. Obviously, can't jump too early. It's game point. Chinese Taipei. They came back from the dead. Great rally. There was so much resting on that. 
There was nervous energy a plenty in that rally. Fantastic play from all. both teams. In the end, a little bit too much adrenaline pumping around. A bit of testosterone around the place, I think, at the moment. 2020, after 13 minutes, it's all shaping up to be a cracker. Yeah, he was just a little bit over anxious there then and, and lost his timing and sprayed it out the back. The more experienced Chin here receiving. There, 21, 20, 20, 20, it's game point. 20. Just highlights the importance of those serves. Hey. Too good. Hey. Too good. Chinese Taipei take the first world well, duck. Can you believe it? That really is a shock. It's a surprise. But the delaying tactics ultimately by Ling Ali, I think, caused all the problems. 22-20 in the first in this final of the men's doubles here at the KLRC at the KLRC Open here in Auckland. Two twenty in the first to Chinese Taipei. Chinese Love Taipei all. will serve to Play. Chen Hong Ling in the second. Oh! Pick up the first point. One and with me, Craig Love. Cooper called it brilliantly in that uh, first game because the Indonesians were home and hosed. Oh! But they'd forgotten that there's a very experienced Love. Chen Hong Ling who's already a champion here tonight in the mixed. And he's really on fire at the moment. Two love. Hey! Oh! It's a three love. And suddenly, Chinese three Taipei love. are looking the real deal. Chris has started a set by Taipei there. And Chen in particular has really love. taken ownership of that net. For love, they changed the shuttle. Just in case you're a little bit confused out there in the wide, wide world, I say game, and Mr. Cooper says set, but hey, that's okay, you know what you mean. Oh! Technically, uh, game is, is the right word to be using, but I think... Craig, I wasn't going to no. say it. But I think it can be a little bit confusing as well, because people will uh, consider a game to be the match. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Six. tennis. Love. But anyway, it's six love. It's uh, really looking good from the gentleman from Taiwan. Service over. One, six. Hey. Yo, well, we could have told you. We could tell you, Mr. Taiwan, that the breeze is definitely coming from your behind your shoulders.
<laughs> no mercy from Chen Hongling. Eight, one. Good work. And that was much better. We need more from Ling Up and his partner if we're going to make a really big battle here. They were so far ahead in the first game, yet they managed to lose it. In fact, no, not lost, let's not be too uncharitable. Let's say that Chinese Taipei won it rather than the Indonesians lost it. Yeah, I think that's right. And, and I do think we probably saw Taipei guys have got a little bit more experience at an international level than these two Indonesians. And possibly that's showing at the moment. Kearney one goes Nine, for two. a big backhand at the front court. Puts it long for 9-2. Well, it's defence. Defence first Ten. in many, many sports, and particularly court games like this. Defence is everything. And once more, Chen Hongling just shows what you can do if you can defend. 10-2. Hello? Hello? Come on, Malaysia, you've got to win this point. Come on. Ah! Uh, not for the second time. Not for the second time. Have you had enough? That was unbelievable. Yeah, it's got to be the rally of the match for sure. Gee whiz. It's at the half. At the interval, it's 11-2 in favour of Chinese Taipei. But there were some things going on here that were straight out of Harry Potter. Hey. <laughs> eh? What was the other big film that was made here? Tell me about yeah. it. What was it? Something to do with rings. Well, rings. Well, there <laughs> you go. Not the five rings. That was in Beijing, wasn't it? Yeah. That was unbelievable. I've never seen anything quite like that. Miraculous recovery. That's why I was cheering there for Malaysia to win it, because you don't want to do that and then lose the point, do you? No, that's right. And, uh John obviously means Indonesia, seconds. not Malaysia, but sorry, um, I, Indonesia. I beg your pardon. Sorry, got carried away. But yeah, we sort of saw a bit of groveling in the old round the back shot, but um, yeah, in the end it was a pretty impressive reverse smash from. Uh, Don't you love the arrogance of these professional players beside <laughs> me, hey? <laughs> ah, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That was spectacular, Cooper. Come on. <laughs> Eleven two. Well, Play. I thought it was. Eleven two, and it will be Chen. It's gone. Service over. Three, eleven. They need eight of those to get on level terms. Oh! It's gone again. How many times have we seen Service that shot over. drift out over the back? Twelve, I mean, to be fair, three. that was a much stronger shot, but they just haven't controlled it from this end. The reflex. Amazing. It would be fitting for him to finish it. He does indeed. That was remarkable. 13, Chen Hongling came up with another unbelievable piece of defence. That was the finish there, right there. But about uh, 20 shots ago, he came up with a fantastic shot to defend out. That yeah, one's long. More consistent shots as well. They, the Indonesians have Four, been doing some, some great stuff, but it's just that one weak shot, and then Taipei, who seem to be more consistent, finish it off. Oh! It's gone. It's 14 4. Over. 14 4. They're snatching at it, 15, and the tension is four. creeping into the Indonesian pair. 15-4. Chen at the line is too clever. Yeah, 
it's pretty much now or never, I'd say, for the team. They don't make a move now that could be ball over, I think. Again, now, both squads are actually pushing too hard. They're, they're, they're very tense, you can tell. That might be one of those tactical shuttle changes. You reckon? <laughs> it didn't work last time, did it? <laughs> They're on with it. Hey. Oh! No, that's in. 16-7, oh, a complete miss hit. 16-7. Well, when it runs with you, take it, say thanks. That's a good response from the receiver there, the Kunia one. 860. No way, it was so far behind him. He should never have been anywhere near that 17, one. 17-8. This is... Real tough now for the Indonesians. Their spring has gone. They're trying so hard, but they're up against. That's the third shot again. We've been discussing before. Chen Hong Ling. He's going to be a double champion tonight. He's very, very light on his feet, but Kurniawan comes up with a desperate jump shine to make it 918. But I think we've already seen the curtains half closing. I think that shot would be what you'd call a slow ball in cricket, a miss hit that <laughs> right. Ty, Ty guy had already swung before to right. Missed it. Lin Yu Yang. Ten. Was disappointed. He turns away with anguish there, but at 10 18, it's still very much in the hearts and the minds of. Chen and Lin, they will win this. It's way out again. How, how many times have we seen that line 19, crossed? 10. Yeah, 19-10. It's all, I think, too late for Indonesia. It's in. It's 20 points to 10. 20. And after a huge battle. In the opening game, it's been very one-sided in the second. That's it. Okay. And that wraps up the KLRC New Zealand Open Ch Tournament Night. The Indonesians say thanks to the crowd. Kuniwan and Linga Lee put up a battle there. But in the end, it was to no avail. The Chinese Taipei, and particularly, I must say, Craig Cooper had it absolutely right. Chen Hong Ling's experience was just too good uh, when it counted. 22-20, 21-10 was the score. And I can tell you now, the double champion tonight will be certainly very, very happy with that. And it'll be really a big, big moment for Chinese Taipei players to come this distance and perform that well. It's very, very important, not only for them, but for the crowd here in New Zealand as well. They've really, really enjoyed themselves. And I can tell you what, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself too. It's been a huge privilege to be here. The tournament's been great. The city is fantastic. The people are unbelievable. You've got to come down. It is a fantastic place to be. Join me in a while for the presentation. Okay. Uh, the presentation then for the men's doubles just about to get underway and uh, well just uh, I must say there's been a lot of Asian faces in the crowd and they've thoroughly appreciated the effort that these teams have made to come down here the Indonesians just just poking their faces around the corner there and the number one seeds the Indonesians in this tournament are ultimately outgunned we have uh, the presentation made by Angus Hussin on behalf of the RSL Hong Kong, the uh, sponsors of the Shuttlecocks. So, 
change of shirt there for Kuniwan and Ling Ali. And, uh, they certainly contributed to a fabulous uh, matchup. 22-20 in the, the final. And uh, I know that they have a great future as well. But this was, there's no doubt at all, for the second time we see him come to the winner's podium, Chen Hong Ling. What a performance. There he is on the right of the double there with the with the spectacles there he is second time a winner tonight but Lin Yu Yang as well put in a great show particularly at the net but it was the defense of uh, Chen Hong Ling that was so impressive they're the winners there the men's doubles winners of the 2008 version of the KLRC New Zealand Open it's been a huge pleasure being here I must say I have thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed being in New Zealand for my first visit I hope that uh, you've all enjoyed our coverage of it. I'm looking forward now to picking out some of the, the Christmas tree blossoms, the Pahutakawa. I'm going to be looking forward to those over the next few days. In the meantime, I'd just like to say a big thank you to my co-commentator, Craig Cooper, and also all the team here have put on a great show for us in support of this program. In the meantime, this is John Burgess wishing everyone a very, very good night from Auckland.